Hey friends, I'm here in Frontier Mountains on Kunark, and we're going to try to farm some supplies in this cave in front of me, and we're going to try to craft some death steel weapons. Uh, death steel isn't going to be high end at all, but it would be a step up from like forged like a forged longsword, or just basic forged items with regular ore. This is going to have a better damage and delay ratio. It's not going to have any stats, but the ratio is going to be better. Uh, and it's an early expansion type of thing, crafting. Plus, you know, if you farm it, it's pretty easy to get some of this stuff. Uh, or you can set up a buyer in the bazaar and you can always buy it from others. So we're going to head on down here, and this is a cave here in uh, Frontier Mountains on Kunark, and these are the goblins that we want to fight. I'm going to send the pet in to kill these guys, and I'm going to bring the UI back. I just thought it would be neat to have it off for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it, it just looks better. And there we go, there's our wonderful chaotic UI again. So what do we want from these guys? I got some already. We want three things. We want bricks of death steel ore. We want mount death mineral salts. And we want grinning goblin brew. Uh, so, those three things, we've got about 11 of each so far. I'm going to do a quick round of clearing out each of these rooms. And the stuff drops pretty regular. And you don't need to go into Droga or Nurga to get this stuff. So get that out of your mind. Don't need to uh, go in there. And here, let's consider... This goblin, this goblin here, the goblin trader, is level 40. So, some of these are higher level than others. This one here on the right is level 30. Uh, this other one is, or 33, rather. So a lot of these are between 33 and 40. So you don't have to be super high. I'm using my level uh, 62 mage right now on mischief and that's you know plenty but you could do it with even just a duo like like you and a healer or something of whatever class <laughs> at about probably 35 or so i'd say you'd probably be all right if you were careful but i like taking something a little overpowered because then i'm sure not to die especially when making videos, no one wants to see me die. Or well, maybe some of you want to see me die. You know who you are. You sadists. Um, but when I'm doing something with crafting involved, I don't want to consider death as a thing that's going to happen. You know, because this is going to be mostly a crafting video. But I wanted to show you where you go to get this stuff, where you go to get these supplies, and that it's not that easy to get, uh, I mean not that hard to get, apologies, I'm saying the opposite, I guess it's opposite day here at Fezzlewig's Forum, I was hoping to get a couple of more pieces of ore, because now I've got, you know, 13 salts and 13 brews, uh, this has also been a place, uh, where a lot of Defiant is dropping. I mean, check it out, there's a rough Defiant robe. Which I have an ornate one, so mine is, is currently better. I found, there's a lot of these whips dropping. I don't know why I'm looting them, I guess, because I have it, like, set for the uh, automated thing to loot it. And maybe they'll be worth a couple of gold or something, I don't know. Um, rough chain, I got some rough uh, cloth gloves, I got some ornate 
defiant gloves, some rough cloth wrist wraps. So, you know, there's there's some stuff dropping to other than the uh, three items that I need for making this these weapons. <laughs> it looks like we got a named over here, Chief Rock Gus. So, let's go attack Rock Gus. See if he drops anything of interest. Really didn't expect to see named in these caves. Let's see what he's got. Some true silver male sleeves. So nothing really great. And maybe a cell for something, I don't know. Uh, there's something called a uh, Zalgosian Fang. Well, I guess, I don't know, 620 isn't terrible, but it's not great either. It's definitely something you toss at a newbie uh, warrior. It's got a few stats on it. It's a shame it's lore because two of them dropped. I don't know I'm getting two of, of some item. I don't, I don't know if it'll sell for anything in the bazaar or not. But you see, I mean, there's there's pathers that spawn here. There's a bunch that spawn in each room. There's like three rooms in this cave. And it's not like one where you zone in. It's just here in Frontier Mountains. So we're going to kill these last few. And then I'm going to gate up to P.O.K. And we're going to try to craft some of this stuff. I thought maybe I'd do like a death steel dagger or a death steel longsword or something like that. Or we'll see We'll see how much materials we have and how much we need. So yeah, I think that's it. Oh, there's one more standing around in the hallway. And these guys got a pretty quick spawn time too. So it wouldn't really be hard to get a decent amount of materials to make some weapons, maybe get a couple of skill ups and all that. And again, it's just out there's the, the cave entrance. And I'll I'll put a map up too so you guys can see where it's at uh, relative on the map here. But here we go to P.O.K. Okay, back in P.O.K. As you see, there's the main bank over there. And just over here, there's smithing supplies merchant. And I think we're going to need a hilt. Shouldn't we grab a couple of these? Dagger blade mold. I don't know if the dagger's going to be the pommel or not, but I'm going to grab a couple of those. And I think we need long sword blade mold. And I don't know which one it needs. I'm just going to grab one of each. Uh, oh, and we got to brew our temper. So why did we need the salts and the brew? Well, here's a brew barrel. And let's see if I have a brew trophy over here. I think I do. Brew trophy, okay. So we're gonna make sure to equip a brewing trophy because that'll give us a small bonus for brewing even though it's the beginner one still. And then we're going to take the salts and the brew and we're going to combine those and see that creates the goblin temper so once you have it you have the recipe remembered and there we go goblin temper and oh we got an even number of each so that means we're going to have and even we're gonna use them all up to make all our tempers. I hate it when I get like 
you know, 13 of one, but only like 11 of the other, and I end up with two left over. And then I gotta like waste the bank slot or just get rid of it. But I hate getting rid of it because I'm like, sometimes these stuff is difficult to come across, you know? It's like, hey, I farm that stuff myself. Why would I want to throw it away? I think I, I put too much real life logic in my gaming. And that's probably not the best idea. Because I end up with a lot of garbage in my bank. This is the negative thing about this. Uh, you need to make a sheet of metal. And when you make the sheet of metal, it's not like with Acrylia where you can use a flask of water to make the sheet of metal. No. You need the goblin brew or the goblin temper for every step of the way. So we need two bricks of death steel and one goblin temper to make a sheet. There we go, we got a sheet. And let's just make a second sheet right away. Alright. So we've only got seven goblin ores left. So let's hope that we actually succeed on this right away. Otherwise that would kind of suck. So let's see, hilt mold, dagger blade mold. I think that's all we need, so let's see if it if it works. Yay! We successfully forged a death steel dagger. And again, it's not great, but the ratio is 333 or 0 0.333 and um, 618, so it's a really fast weapon. It's a really fast little stabby pokey. And, uh, you know, you can give it to wizards and mages and all that, and uh, a rogue or a, a, a bard, shadow knight, even a paladin can use this. So it'd be a great way to let your paladin build up their piercing ability. So, you know, it's, uh, cause, cause there's not a whole lot of piercing for paladins. Um, you know, warriors can use it too, so it's, it's not a terrible weapon. And if you're on the Kunark expansion, I think this recipe even works on a server like P99, like the emulate servers. Um, I'm not 100% sure, so don't like say, oh, he, that gnome lied. <laughs> he said it would work that way. So yeah, I only think it, it will. So let's see, longsword blade mold, goblin temper. Let's we'll see if we can make a death steel longsword. Okay, I think that might be the wrong longsword blade mold. So let's try long blade mold instead. And we effing failed. You're a failure. You suck. So we might try this one more time. We'll make another sheet of metal. We failed making a sheet of metal? We're gonna run out of metal. Or ore. This is gonna suck. And you know what? I feel a little stupid. Because what I should be doing is also equipping my dang smith trophy. For the smithing, maybe I wouldn't have failed because it gives me a small boost. Ugh. I, I am not happy with myself. See, that's why you equip your... Make sure you're equipping your stuff. So we don't need longsword blade mold. So let's sell that back. Instead we need long blade mold. And then we need hilt mold. All right. So let's try to do this again, hopefully without failure. So we get our sheet of death steel. We're gonna get our goblin temper. We're going to get the pommel mold, long blade mold, hilt mold, and black mold. <laughs> Just, yeah, sorry, that was dumb. Cringe, cringe, cringe. And combine. Yeah! We did it! We All did right. it! We did it! Yay! 
we, we did it. I'm running out of room. I gotta sell all that crap that I looted. So here's the stats for the forged death steel longsword, and it is 926. So there's a ratio of 346. So it's a slightly better ratio and weapon than the dagger. Um, it can be used by warriors, paladins, rangers, shadow knights, bards, and rogues. Could be a good dual wield thingy, thingy with Bob for a rogue. You know, the dagger in one hand and that long sword in the other. So that's it. And a lot of the recipes, there's you can make rapiers and two-handed swords, broadsword, I think, or. or you could just look it up. You can look it up on eqtraders.com and there's recipes. You could just type in death steel and you'll find out all these different recipes. But now you know where to go to farm the stuff and how to combine the uh, goblin brew and the death salts in the barrel <laughs> to make the goblin temper and you know what to combine to make the sheet metal and then your weapon. So I hope this helps you in some way. If you're on a progression server, TLP server, that only has Kunark enabled, then and you want to make like a new alt, a newbie alt, and you don't want them just running around with a rusty or a tarnished weapon, you can you can forge one of these. Or maybe you've just you're level 35 now, and you had shit luck getting a decent weapon. Well, here you go. You can forge your own. And uh, let's see. Let's type in death here. That way we could see what the uh, trivial is. So to make the sheet of death steel is 62. Uh, and... It goes from 143 to make a death steel hammer uh, to 154 to make the death steel bastard sword. So it's really not, you know, your skill doesn't need to be that high to make it. Unfortunately, it's all trivial for me. I was almost hoping that it was a little higher and I'd get some skill from it. Uh, but no, and that's okay. <laughs> because at least I was able to successfully combine the stuff to make these weapons. Again, I hope this helps you in some way, or that at least you find it entertaining. Thanks for watching. Remember, check out my Patreon. I would really appreciate it. You'd be supporting me, supporting the channel, and I have a Discord and a Twitter. Have a great day, and a wonderful tomorrow.